Welcome to my channel, where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. President Bola Mejinubu's incompetence in the management of Nigeria's economy in the last eight or nine months has resulted in pilgrims, Muslim pilgrims, going to Mecca for Hajj are paying a price for that. This is because latest information from the National Hajj Commission shows that uh, pilgrims who had earlier paid 4.9 million naira for pilgrim for their pilgrimage to Mecca are now being asked to pay more. Why? Because of Tinubu's incompetence in the management of Nigeria's economy. That is why. And you are going to see how this played out. You see, National Heart Commission is the authority in charge of pilgrimage, Muslim pilgrimage in Nigeria. And it often sets the amount that pilgrims or potential pilgrims will have to pay for the Hajj journey. This year, they put the amount to be paid by potential pilgrims at 4.9 million Naira. But the officials of the Hajj Commission never bargained with President Bola Metinubu's disastrous floating of the Nigerian Naira against other major currencies around the world. Now, many potential pilgrims dutifully paid the 4.9 million because they are committed to fulfill their religious obligation. They paid 4.9 million naira. Now, when they are supposed to be excited because they are going about to move, go and embark on a spiritual journey that they have been looking towards all these years, all these months, because you can imagine how much it will take some people to gather 4.9 million naira to go on a pilgrimage. Weeks to the for the pilgrim, pilgrims to begin to plan how to fulfill their religious obligation. The Heart Commission is telling them that they have to bring another 1.9 million. And they ask why. They say because of the high foreign exchange. And when they pay that 1.9 million, it means that the total amount for this year's pilgrim has increased to 6.8 million. can imagine. Now, many pilgrims are finding it difficult to raise this money. Because everything in this life is all about planning. You have already planned and the Hajj Commission told you it's 4.9. Then a few weeks for you to take off. They are now telling you to bring extra 1.9 million. In this Tinubu's economy, how can many of them raise it? People are frustrated. Now, some state governors are coming to the rescue. But that is the money that should have gone to do other things for that state, for these states. They are now using it to subsidize part or in whole the 1.9 million balance. You can imagine. This is what you get when people who are not competent to manage the economy are managing it. People pay prices in several direct dimensions. Now it is the pilgrims that are paying this price. There are those paying the price of a, a, a bag of rice. I learned that a bag of rice now is one, 105,000 naira. So people are paying the price in a bag of gare. The incompetence of the APC administration. 
people are feeling the pinch in several ways than one. Now, the state governors who are now subsidizing to meet, to meet up the extra amount for these pilgrims, these are monies that they could have put in other developmental projects in their state. They are now using it to service subsidy for pilgrims. And uh, they are not alone. There are allegations that even the federal government of Nigeria, knowing that it has m messed up the whole system, had allegedly uh, subsidized the hash fare by 90 billion naira. According to a source that told Daily Trust this, the federal government has subsidized pilgrims, pilgrimage by 90 billion naira. And according to the source that told Daily Trust, it said this was announced during the inauguration of the board and management of the Hajj Commission, which took place in the office of the Vice President on February 28. According to this source, he said that reporters who attended that occasion were told not to report it. He said that was why you didn't see it in any newspaper. Because they know that it will be an embarrassment for the government that they subsidize for pilgrims, 90 billion. Can imagine. And, uh, and uh, according to the report by Daily Trust, it is because of federal government's subsidy of 90 billion. That is even why the, the pilgrims are now told to bring a balance of 1.9. If not for that federal government subsidy, it would have been much more than that. That is what you have in a country when it is run by people who are not competent to run it. And it's a lesson for all of us to ensure that we do the right thing and save this country from total collapse economically so that this country doesn't become another Venezuela or another Zimbabwe or another Somalia. Let Nigerians vote and defend their vote. That is the message. If you don't want to live under this kind of condition, next time when you vote, defend your vote and ensure that the vote is not hijacked by those who you do not put there. That is the message. If not, this kind of thing will continue to repeat itself in Nigeria. No doubt about that. Prayers cannot solve this problem. What will solve it is action. To say enough is enough. You cannot take a, a mandate that does not belong to you. That if you do that, we are not going to agree. Because votes matters. The vote of Nigerians it's important. Say no to election rigging. Say no to election manipulation. At the end of the day, the whole country suffers when incompetent people are in charge. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button. Hit the notification bell when you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell anytime i have a new video you'll be among the first to know god bless you and please don't forget to like this video because when you like it google will rank it high and recommend it for more people thank you and god bless you and yours